In September of 2020, at Tesla's Battery Day event, Elon announced plans to make a $25,000 compelling electric vehicle. And um, I think probably, uh, yeah, like I said, about, about three years from now, uh, we're confident we can make a very, com uh, uh, very compelling $25,000 electric vehicle uh, that's also fully autonomous. However, it now appears like Tesla might have been sandbagging this date, and it appears like we might actually see this $25,000 model from Tesla come sooner than this. There have been two recent reports that appear credible that point to the fact that Tesla could actually produce this vehicle in some kind of volume in 2022. So without further ado, let's dive into the details. On July 30th, Ray for Tesla, who has been a highly reliable source for Tesla news in the past, tweeted, the elusive cheaper compact model whatever may come sooner than you think. The prototype is said to have been completed and most component suppliers have been lined up. Trial production has been planned for the end of 2021. He then followed that up by saying, I would put some weight on this rumor as it comes from a pretty reliable source. He brought several leaks to the surface before, which later turned out to be true. However, like anything else, past performance is no guarantee of future results. Take it with a grain of salt. So if this rumor is indeed true and Tesla has finished the prototype for this $25,000 model, and if component suppliers have been chosen, we should start seeing more leaks specifically about the components making up this model. And it appears like this is the case. In an August 5th tweet, once again, Ray for Tesla tweeted this out saying, rumor of the day, multiple sources reportedly claim BYD will provide Tesla China with lithium iron phosphate blade battery starting in Q2 2022. Tesla vehicles with blade battery are already in C sample testing phase. He then followed that up with, if the rumor is true, the upcoming subcompact model whatever may be powered by BYD blade battery. This of course brings up the question, what is this lithium iron phosphate blade battery from BYD and really what's the significance of all this? First of all, it's important to note that this is an iron phosphate battery which has a much lower cost per kilowatt hour than many other battery cell types like the nickel cobalt aluminum cells that Tesla currently uses in their electric vehicles, at least here in North America. Also in the recent Q2 2021 investors conference call, Elon Musk said the following about their future plans for iron-based battery cells. I think probably there is a long-term shift more in the direction of iron-based lithium ion cells, rather over nickel. He then added, I think probably we'll see a shift. My guess is probably to two-thirds iron, one-third nickel, or something on that order. And this is actually good because there's plenty of iron in the world. There's an insane amount of iron, but nickel, there's much less nickel, and there's way less cobalt. So if iron-based battery cells are indeed cheaper, and if iron is so abundant, why doesn't Tesla use more iron-based cells in their long-range electric vehicles? Well, this is a topic that I've covered in the past, but unfortunately, iron-based cells do not have quite the same energy density levels as, say, a nickel-based cell. Nickel-based cells have a lot more energy density, and thus they're more suited for long-range EVs, whereas these iron-based cells are more suited for mid-range or low-range electric vehicles. Now, when it comes to just how much less energy dense these iron-based cells are, according to a Push EVs article from May of 2020, they estimated that the BYD blade battery cells that we've been talking about will likely have a volumetric energy density of around 448 watt hours per liter and a gravimetric energy density of 165 watt hours per kilogram. As you can see on this chart, this is quite a bit less than say the Tesla 2170 and 18650 cells as tested in 2019. However, it is once again really important that I point out that the cell level energy density of a battery is really just a small piece of the story. We must also understand and make a good comparison of the pack level energy density of two battery technologies. That's what really matters. According to that same Push EVs article that I mentioned a second ago, they estimate that the gravimetric energy density at the pack level for BYD's blade battery pack could be around 139 watt hours per kilogram, which is actually pretty impressive for a lithium iron phosphate based pack. 
you can see that this energy density is actually better than the old 2019 version of the 18650 battery packs found in the old Model S's and X's and is decently close to the energy density of the 2170 battery packs as tested in 2019. Now Panasonic and Tesla have been recently able to boost the energy density of their 2170 cells by around 5%. So here's what that comparison should look like now, assuming that this 5% gain was related to weight and not just volumetric energy density. This impressive energy density at the pack level for BYD's batteries is made possible because these blade batteries are actually part of a structural battery pack, very similar to the way that Tesla has made a structural battery pack with their 4680 batteries. BYD has made a structural battery pack with thin knife-like or blade-like batteries that are prismatic and then make up the structure of their battery pack. Like Tesla, by removing unnecessary structural components, this allows for more active cells and less structural materials, thus boosting the energy density at the pack level. So if Tesla does indeed use lithium iron phosphate battery cells like these blade batteries or a similar technology in a structural battery pack, this would allow for even a cheap EV like a $25,000 electric vehicle to still have a decent range and still be a practical electric vehicle. Another huge benefit of lithium iron phosphate battery cells in general is the fact that they have improved safety. However, it appears like BYD has actually taken this to a whole new level. In an April 2021 press release, BYD mentioned, the Blade battery has successfully passed the battery industry's so-called Everest test, the nail penetration test, which proves that it will never spontaneously ignite. They also mentioned some impressive results from the heavy truck pressure test. The test itself saw a 46 ton fully loaded heavy duty truck drive over the blade battery pack, which the battery successfully passed without leakage, deformation, or smoke, coming out perfectly intact and ready to be used in an electric vehicle. Now I think it is really important to point out that this technology is not just in prototype stage, but it's actually found in vehicles that you can purchase right now from BYD. The first model equipped with the Blade battery has sold more than 10,000 units each month consecutively since its launch in July 2020. If this all turns out to be true, this is really exciting and we could see this $25,000 EV from Tesla come a whole lot sooner. I mean, after all, if a prototype is finished and BYD is indeed supplying batteries to Tesla in Q2 of 2022, we could actually see a large number of these vehicles be delivered in 2022. I also have reason to believe that this vehicle will not only be sold in China, but will be exported to other places in the world as well. Although this compact car is likely to be sold in China, First, Elon Musk did say at the Giga Shanghai Model 3 delivery event in early January 2020 that there would be a car designed in China for worldwide consumption. So while it's likely that Tesla will export Shanghai production to other parts of the world for this compact model, I do believe it's very possible that Tesla will produce a compact model based on this design out of Giga Texas and possibly Giga Berlin as well, because I think there's going to be a huge demand for this $25,000 cheaper Tesla vehicle. I'm really excited to see how this all develops. And Tesla does have a great track record of producing great looking electric vehicles with good performance and also very impressive range for their class. So even a low cost EV like a $25,000 model, I believe will have a lot of technology, will have a practical amount of range, and I could see myself driving one of these $25,000 Teslas. Do let me know in the comments if you're excited about this $25,000 model that could be coming from Tesla soon, and if you think Tesla will actually deliver some of these vehicles in 2022. Also let me know if you want me to do a more in-depth video about BYD's Blade batteries. Well, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. I hope you enjoyed it. I wanted to take a moment here at the end of the video to thank the Patreon supporters who support me every month and help make this content possible. A special thank you to my performance supporters and also the other supporters listed on the screen. If you'd like to find out more about the Patreon community I've set up, I'll put a link in the description below. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.